Are you tired of lag, stutters, and low FPS ruining your CS2 matches? Well, this one setting gave me over plus 200 FPS, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it too. Whether you're on a low-end PC or just want smoother gameplay, this is the only FPS guide you'll need in 2025. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows for Counter-Strike 2. If you are playing Counter-Strike 2 on a low-end or budget PC, it is very important to make sure that your computer is giving you full power and performance. To turn this feature off, press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard at the same time. A small box called Run will appear. In the box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open a new window called Local Group Policy Editor. Inside this new window, look on the left side and click on the following sections one by one computer configuration, then administrative templates, then system. After that, scroll down and click on power management. In the right section, find the setting called power throttling settings and double click on it. A new box will open. In this box, double click on the option that says turn off power throttling. Another new box will appear. In this box, choose the option called enabled. This setting will stop windows from slowing down your CPU. After selecting enabled, click apply, then click OK and finally close all the windows. This setting works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, and it helps your PC perform better by giving you more F-ups and smoother gameplay in Counter-Strike 2. Step 2. Use registry tweaks to improve CPU and GPU power. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will change some hidden settings in Windows by using a tool called Registry Editor. These settings are deep inside your computer's system and help the CPU, processor, and GPU graphics card perform better when changed correctly. These changes, also called registry tweaks, can reduce lag, help games like CS2 load faster, and stop FPS drops during intense gameplay. These changes may look small, but they become powerful when used together with the other steps in this guide. These tweaks work on all kinds of systems, including those with Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA hardware. They are especially useful for older PCs or low-end systems that need more performance during gaming. Step 3. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU processor has several parts called cores, and these cores help your computer handle tasks. Sometimes Windows parks or turns off some of these cores to save power. When this happens, it can slow down games or cause lag. To fix this, we will use a tool called Unpark CPU. This tool will turn on all your CPU cores and help your computer perform better. Then right-click the tool and choose Run as Administrator. When the program opens, it will show you which CPU cores are active and which ones are parked. Click the Unpark button to activate all of the cores. This will make sure your full CPU is working, which gives more speed and smoother gameplay in games like Counter-Strike 2 or Fortnite. Step 4. Improve GPU response using MSI mode. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Utility for Counter-Strike 2. Next, we will improve how your graphics card responds during gameplay by using a small program called MSI Utility V3. Open the MSI Utility program, and it will show a list of all the devices connected to your computer. Find your dedicated GPU like NVIDIA GeForce GTX or RTX in the list. Tick the box next to it under the MSI column and change the interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU if you have one, for example, Intel UHD or AMD Vega. Tick the MSI box for it too, and also set the interrupt priority to high. After you make these changes, click apply at the bottom right corner and close the program. This setting will reduce input lag and help your graphics card respond faster while you play Counter-Strike 2. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite, click the boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. 
I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use ISLC tool to optimize RAM and reduce CS2 input lag. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, to clean up your system's memory, RAM, and help CS2 feel faster and smoother. Open the ISLC program. At the top, you will see your total system memory listed in MB, megabytes. Divide that number by two and enter it in the box labeled list size is at least. For example, if your total RAM is 16,000 megabytes, enter 8,000. If it's 32,000 megabytes, enter 16,000. Next, tick these three checkboxes. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon enable. Custom timer resolution, set the timer resolution to 0.50 and set the polling rate to 1,000 or 1,000 if your PC is very slow. After that, click stop, then click start and finally click purge standby list. Leave ISLC running in the background while you play CS2. This will keep your RAM clean and your game running fast. Step six, improve your power plan for gaming performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will change the power plan in Windows to help your games run faster and smoother. First, click on the Windows search bar and type the word power. Then click on the option that says change power plan. If your current plan is set to balanced, that means your CPU is not using full power. This is not good for gaming. Change the plan to high performance or ultimate performance. If you don't see ultimate performance as an option, follow these steps to add it. Copy the special command from the video description, then open command prompt as administrator. Right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. Paste the command into the command prompt and press enter. After that, you will see a message saying that ultimate performance has been added. Now go back to your power options and choose ultimate performance. This setting allows your CPU to run at its full speed, which helps prevent FPS drops and makes CS2 run smoother. Step seven, optimizing Windows using the storage sense settings. Now we will use a Windows feature called Storage Sense to automatically clean out junk files from your computer and keep it running smoothly. Open your Windows settings, search for Storage Sense and open it. Turn Storage Sense on. Under the section called Configure Cleanup Schedules, do the following. Set it to run every day. Set it to delete files in the recycle bin after 14 days. Now click on Run Storage Sense. Now and let it clean your system. Doing this regularly helps keep your PC clean and gives more storage space and system power for CS2 to run better. If this guide helped you boost FPS and fix lag in Counter-Strike 2, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials that help improve PC gaming performance. Thank you for following along, and I'll see you in the next video.